Welcome to the Sarno Colourford Knitwear tutorial on the joining row for the Tux Online Nut Tap design. So I previously showed you how to work the separating row when you've been working in the rib and you then take half the stitches to do the knit rows. And we've now worked a series of rows in stocking stitch and we're ready to join the tuck back in again. We've got the smaller needles are holding the purl stitches at the back of the work still and they've been on a circular and we're going to push them back up onto the needle tip so that our needle tips are both pointing in the same direction and we've got our larger needle holding the knit stitches where we've worked the stocking stitch. We're going to work the joining row onto the other end of the smaller needles that we were using before and we're going to fold the tuck fabric so that the right side is on the outside so you can see the smooth stocking stitch on the outside of the tuck. And we then work across the row alternating between the stitches on the front larger needle and the rear smaller needle. So we're going to knit the first stitch from the front needle and then we're going to purl the first stitch on the back needle. Again, keeping an eye on the stitches so they don't ping off the end. We're then going to knit the front stitch and purl the rear stitch. And that's all there is to it. We work across the row in this way, taking the alternate needles, alternate stitches from the front and from the back. And again, whilst the first couple are slightly awkward, once you've got into the rhythm and you're holding your needles parallel, it's really not too bad. And you can see that we have joined the tuck and we've now just got one set of stitches on our needles again. I do hope you found that tutorial useful. If you have, why not check out the other tutorials on our YouTube channel and try something new today.